Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did Where'd you? Where'd you come from? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know in that fancy photography stuff where people just like snap their finger? Yeah. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> What, you know, one minute I'm in Alabama, and the next minute it was like, whoa, how'd I get here? How'd I get in Randy's truck? Yeah. <laughs> no, how'd, how'd Randy's passenger seat get clean enough to let me ride in his truck? Yeah, <laughs> how, did, how did it get emptied out? <laughs> we're, oh, going, we're riding over to look at a removal in Biloxi. Same guy that uh, called me to do the dead squirrel hive last year, or year before last, whenever it was, I did that thing. He said, I got one in my house now. So I'm not sure if it's the owner of the dead squirrel house, or if it's the maintenance for that uh, the property manager for that owner but either way that's where we're headed I usually have pretty good luck but I bring you up on one and it turns out to be yellow jackets come on I come out here to come see bees and what do you find me yellow jackets. thank you very much well, <laughs> I've gotten five bee calls today I know I bring you on one and it's yellow jackets you can't blame that on me Look, man. Well, that's true. It's my fault. I mean, I come to my to my yard and find you instead of hive beetles. I mean, that's worse. That's true. Hey, dog. Hey, buddy. Thank you for not eating me up. Here, I'm gonna go look at the yellow jackets again. Right there. Where's my jacket? You got me one. For just in case. For a jacket for me, yeah, it'd be like a whole body suit. Yeah. Yeah, you get it now. Get it now because I'm not running over there to you in five minutes to give it to you. As the yellow jackets come out in droves. If you, if I take off running, pick me up down there at the gas station. Oh yeah, you done made him mad now. As they cover him up, like flies the sh ooh, ooh, the armpit sting. <laughs> Ouch, on my arm. I told you I was gonna get one. We will fly above the sky. We are heroes too. The other two are, are uh, the private titty side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll leave the, yeah, this, this No, way. I didn't look either. I, I promise. I didn't that's what a yellow jacket does to me. He tried to show me. I said, no, thank you. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, I'm back. Man, feels like forever and a day since I've been on here, don't it? Yeah, I know. Well, I had to go pay some bills. Had to go work. Got to do those things every once in a while. 2019, going to be some changes, so, so I'm fixing to run over a couple of those changes with y'all. A couple of them you might be interested in. The hats. I know some of you thought you noticed something different. You thought maybe I lost weight or something. Y'all <laughs> so nice. No, I didn't lose no weight. I got a new hat. We got some, uh, we got a new logo that, uh, that feels nice. That's embroidered. <laughs> Uh, my wife and I and some friends came up with a new logo and we had, we had some hats made and we kind of had a limited run made because I didn't want to be giving away hats for Christmas for the next five years if y'all didn't like them. So this, this is a new era 3930 stretch fit. Uh, the other option that, uh, I might have some made later on is a 5950. It's actual fitted, but there would have been so many different sizes to accommodate everybody. The 3930 will, will uh, we're do, we did three different sizes. So just make sure you know what your head size is, your hat size before you order. Cause uh, I don't want you getting a small and it not fitting your head. Anyhow, 628dirtrooster.com for that. And uh, the other thing is in 2019, we're gonna try to go full time with YouTube and beekeeping. So the videos should, should become a little more consistent. Uh, Nothing really going to change with the uh, type of content, uh, aside from the fact that I might get a little more into teaching. The The biggest thing that has been requested of me over the years is some beginner beekeeping videos. So 
probably going to do some more of that. But aside from that, it's just going to be a, a bigger focus on the videos, uh, on the video is, on the videos and the uh, building the brand, building the channel, all that kind of stuff. So hope y'all come along for the ride. Appreciate y'all. Love you a lot. Go check it out, 628dirtrooster.com. Right now we get back into the yellow jacket videos. That that I had with Yappy was uh, shot this summer when he stopped by for a visit. And so since everybody's kind of dealing with yellow jackets right now, I figured, hey, what the heck, we'll put up some yellow jacket videos. So here's another yellow jacket call I went on. So hope you enjoy it. Let's get to the video. In 3.5 miles, turn left onto Lakeshore Road. Then I'll be back in the I had to pull over for a second. Wait on a call from somebody I'm supposed to meet over here. Taking a hive out of the ceiling of a FEMA trailer, FEMA cottage. Supposedly it's honeybees, but the, the tenant is now saying it might be yellow jackets, which is pretty dang unusual for yellow jackets to build up that high. It's not impossible, it's not that they won't or don't ever, because I have pulled them out of the top edge of a shed before, but it's supposed to be in the ceiling of a FEMA cottage, and I'm pretty sure it's honeybees. Um, so anyhow, that's what I'm headed to do today. One of these three here, I believe. <clears throat> hey, how are you? Yesterday. You got stung yesterday? Yeah. Twice. Really? One on my foot and one here. The back. In the back, in the back of your shoe? They're like swarming like 11 o'clock in the morning. And now they, I killed 10 in the house. They're on my windows inside. Wow. Dog too. I can't, you know, even really let them come out here and sit out. Yeah, these are yellow jackets. Yep, well that's what they are. Stay inside or uh they do, but it would it would be out by now. It would be out by now? Okay, yeah. good. Because I you know, I took care of it. Yeah. But see that in the morning there's like a swarm. And they're probably all in because how they getting in, it's not they're not coming in through my door. In the morning they're on my windows inside. Huh. These, the, just the living room part of the win, uh, house. Today I killed 10 of them. Wow. Inside. Boo, come on. Come on, boy. He's a good boy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. This is Rhonda welcoming you back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where beekeeping is a way of life. But today, what do you got? Not, not bees. <laughs> Yellow jackets. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I, I always thought yellow jackets were bees. Oh, kinda. They fly. I got stung. They sting. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do a job today, and we're gonna take those bees, and we're gonna bring them home, and have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking them home. <laughs> so you can so, do your job. So you don't get tore up anymore. So that they don't think that my hair is a beehive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about to suit up and see if I can stir them up. Okay. So I'll let you get inside. Well, thank you. Thank you. There's nothing like a beekeeper. Everybody needs one. That's a fact. I'm suiting up today with a Guardian Bee Apparel suit with the uh, easy access veil where the veil opens. And today I'm going to answer the age-old question or the question I've gotten numerous times on other videos is what will uh, yellow jackets do if you smoke them so I'm about to get up there and smoke them and I'll show you how they respond I already know how they respond in the winter time it's spring and they're super busy right now and I'm gonna I'm getting my smoker I got some short uh, goatskin work gloves a buddy of mine sent me that fit pretty good these uh this jacket covers them pr pretty well and it's got a thumb loop so your jacket doesn't slip back beyond your gloves and i do not want anything up my sleeve on this one so we're going to use the thumb loops i'm not going to tape up but the uh 
elastic on the sleeves is holding them pretty good hold them pretty tight i don't think i'll have a problem there i don't doubt i'll get stung i have i'll be surprised if i don't get stung any uh normally when i fool with yellow jackets even with a fairly thick vented suit on i get stung once or twice doesn't really bother me too much i don't like it it hurts but it's not nothing i can't handle so i'm gonna get up there and, and just play a little bit before i dispose of these things all right all i've done is climb to the top of the ladder and they're already trying to attack me and the camera we'll put some smoke on them and see if they cover me up or if they just run back in there it's hard to tell where the smoke's going a lot of times you blow it up in a, a framing space like this and it gets sucked to another part of the house and into the living area and then it looks like you set the house on fire <laughs> so i got to be careful of that you put too much smoke in there and you can smoke it, the whole inside of the house up and they'll have to air the house out they're not really attacking me they're hitting my jacket a little bit but they were super active when i got here they're starting to settle down a little bit since the sun's going down well copious amounts of smoke does not slow them down much at all they still are trying to attack the camera and me i can tell you from previous experience from a hive that i could see that the ones that are in the hive kind of withdraw into the the hive itself when you smoke them i might uh show you that on a video in the future I got queens dropping out, not liking what I'm doing. There's another one. There's multiple, multiple queens in these big hives. I'm not worried about crushing all these. They're not gonna survive. You can tell how they're moving. They're not in the best of shape. There was another one walking around up there. Should be falling in just a few minutes. There she went. There's another one. <laughs> I hope y'all can hear those thuds when they hit these boards. There's another one. There you go. And there's a drone. Not looking too healthy. Now, I was told that drones can't sting, but I'll be dang if he don't look like he's trying. Here's a southern yellow jacket queen. In case anybody's wondering if the queens can sting, she is stuck on my glove by her stinger. Pretty dang long stinger, too. There she goes again. Digging in. Biting and stinging. You can hear that crunching. That's her chewing on that glove. There she goes. There she goes biting. Chomp, chomp. Well, that was kind of a dry run. No honeybees there, just yellow jackets. That's a lot of, that's a lot of views for anything, but for a bee video, that's crazy views. <laughs> That's the way Mr. Ed rolls. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> That's how I roll, dog. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to find out right now because the guy called me said there was a swarm, but he ain't answering his phone. Go ahead and find it. Yeah, I got one more hive to look at. Where's it at? Uh, scenic Drive. Passion. I'm headed on to the next one in a beach house. 
two-story beach house. It's got honeybees around a chimney. I'm not going to remove them. I'm just going to check them out, figure out where they're at. See what we can do about it. Well, that's going to be an interesting one. It was uh, a hive behind the chimney of a home that was built in the late 1800s and was added on to a couple more times in the early 1900s. This, this is a historic kind of drive along the beach with a lot of older, really nice homes. You probably can't tell it from the video, but there's about a, probably a 20 foot elevation drop from here to the beach down there. And that's what saved all these homes during Hurricane Katrina. Uh, a lot of them flooded a little bit, but they weren't washed away like the rest of the beach down here. So some of these older, really, really pretty homes with a lot of uh, historical significance survived the hurricane. And now the bees are moving in. So what's gonna happen with that one is that they want to keep the bees. They already had a box built. They had assembled uh, two 10 frame deeps and one set of frames and they had a box and an inner uh, a lid and an inner cover and a, and a bottom. And so I'm gonna pull those bees out of their hive, out of their wall rather, and set it up in their hive on their property. And we're gonna do that in about a week. That's it for the evening. We're going to finish up with dinner at Nukes and back to the house to lay up in the bed and watch some TV because I am whooped and my wife seems to be just as tired as I am. Hi, this is Rhonda welcoming you back. 628.